great things my fellow warriors for me canimal and today i'm going to give you um some advice on how to increase your handstand push-up and the reason why you're not increasing your number of handstand push-up is most likely because you're not getting any stronger and you're not getting any stronger because uh i think with body weight training it's hard to quantify uh the progressive overload so Many people get stuck when they can they start achieving a handstand push up and not uh not able to uh apply the principle of progressive overload uh as easy as they would if they were working with a barbell so to build strength, you have to progressively overload the movement uh and you can achieve that by using. A weighted vest for example which I'm not a big fan of but that could be one way to address the issue and slowly add up a uh, little increments of uh, of weight over over the the weeks in your middle cycle uh, to be able to get stronger and as you get stronger automatically of course your uh, your rep counts would, in would increase that's just one way to go about it the second way, which is the one that I like the most, is to stick to the bodyweight movement and then find ways to increase the volume because cumulative volume uh, workload is going to uh, subsequently increase your, you know, your strength with time. And once you train hard over a certain time, you rest hard and what happens, the magic happens, you're able to perform uh, better and you're able to be stronger. So the workload, something to remember is you want to keep the rep, uh, the rep counts, or the weekly rep counts uh, between 15 and 30 repetition uh, on the movement that you want to improve. And I will leave it to your own discretion to set up the workout however you want to. But make sure that by the end of your mesocycle or by the end of your weekly microcycle, you at least reach uh, 15 repetition, solid one, and uh, maximally uh, 30 repetition. So that's mostly for those who are already advancing. Maybe you're stuck at a higher rep range that you, you can do five repetition and you're having a hard time breaching to six, seven, eight. You, you work, uh, you work uh, a total volume, a workload we need to be higher for you to uh, get to that next level. For those who are just struggling with one, two repetition, it can be, uh, you won't have to worry much about too much volume. You can benefit from just the minimal effective volume. That could be on the range of 15 count. So now we're gonna break it down. So I'm gonna break it down in, let's see, one, two, in three category. So the first category will be the uh, we will apply the over I mean the overload by using a weighted vest for example. That's for people who are really advanced and can achieve something in the range of three to five repetition, solid and clean. Then you can re uh, resort to using like a weighted vest uh, that uh, what you call them. Um, you can use a weighted vest that you can progressively add weight weekly, you know, in the wave loading, uh, what you call style, and be able to make progress just as you would do on the barbell. So let's say you uh, you can do a three repetition, for example, with a certain weight. So you can work with a five set of three, for example, without weight, but make sure that the intensity is right because you need to be to be doing something that is not uh, leading you to failure or at least will lead you to failure by the last two or last set so uh, RPE should be something on eight that means you have about two repetitions left in the tank uh, when you're performing that so you could do like a five set or three for example that makes it like a 15 repetition like I was saying and then weekly you add about two percent or whatever two to five uh, to five percent of the weight that you had already you know in your I mean uh, the week before and uh, slowly you know make that that progress to you know with, within three weeks or four weeks then you deload and you start you start over again and this time you start about you know a little uh, uh, at the level higher than 
the first week that you start you can start with the load of the second week of the previous middle cycle so that's one way to go by the second and that's more for intermediate people advanced people the second way would be now uh, for beginner that it just is not solidified uh, the, the the skill is not consolidated yet and uh, uh, some days they can do it some other they cannot some other days they cannot do it that means they don't have enough recovery uh, at that time to be able to perform at full you know at full intensity meaning is it's still like a strength skill for you like the top 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 level because uh, until you reach 10 it will still be a strength i mean a strength skill but for those who can only do one is really like a one repetition max so that is really taxing on your nervous system that's why you're not able to perform them every time you want to do them it's still something that requires a lot of resource so you want to be smart about when you train them you want to take at least three days in between the time when you want to train uh that skill if you can if you're still struggling with one or two repetition and then uh for you to increase the, the rep count will be to work with cluster sets for example cluster sets will be uh using whatever you can do now for example if it's a one repetition you can do i mean at, on uh, if you were to work with a barbell or some external load you will have to use about 90 percent of your max but this time you can't really use 90 percent of your body weight we're just going to use your body weight but you're gonna work on the scheme because you need to build volume to reach your goal and even even something as little as 15 repetition for the week will be plenty enough for you to grow so you can work with a three uh, a five set of three repetition for example and three repetition in a cluster set meaning one one and one with about 30 seconds so sometimes a minute in between the you know the rep but i will not go more than 30 seconds but if you need be feel free to take you know more uh more time to achieve the second uh, i mean the second repetition and the third repetition so five sets of uh, of three cluster uh repetition mean you, you 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 go on your first handstand you drop down you take two uh i mean uh, 30 seconds you go again you do it, uh, you do the second repetition and the third one, 30 seconds, you do it, that's one set. And then you get, make sure that you get a longer break between five, I mean, between three minutes minimum to five minutes sometime. Cause the long, as you get through the set, you're gonna need to take a longer break. Re break is really important. Even sometimes you feel recovered, you definitely need to make sure that you get the optimal uh, time of rest so that you can replenish your creatine phosphate you know your ATP, sto ATP store storage need to be refilled so that you can perform with the best quality as possible a lot of time again people looking for pump that's what I said stay away for the pump pump is no good for strength so you make sure that you recover properly and you go for your second cluster set again one take a break 30 seconds jump at it again one sometime you can get frustrated because you still hasn't you haven't consolidated the skill yet you may tend to fall on the subsequent uh, repetition it's okay and if you it comes down to the point where you just not feeling it that day after a few sets you start not be able to nail this the I mean the repetition anymore it's okay to jump on the handstand and do the negative so that's another way to make sure that you get your workout uh, worthwhile so you start with the regular handstands, push-ups. If you still, after a while, you just deplete all your your resource. It's okay to to do the repetition as as negative. That means you have to jump, you control, and then you get about a good eight seconds to ten seconds eccentric on each repetition. You get your thirty seconds, as I suggested. Again, you go and you get that eccentric until you do your five sets. And then each week, you may add uh, what you call them, uh, one repetition on the cluster until you're able to do five set of five by the end of your your three weeks of uh, you know of of uh, of meso cycle, and then you deload. So that's how you work. By the time by the end of the three weeks, because it's taxing your nervous system, get a week deload, and then come back and build back again in a wave you know in a wave loading uh, manner. Again. This is just an idea of how you can program it. And that's where like a coach can come handy. If you feel lost, he can make some calls depending on his experience and uh, uh, what's your strength level if you're not experienced with programming. And then 
that's for that's the second uh, uh, this the, the the second way to to go about increasing your rep count. The third way, the third way is the one that I've used uh, lately. I mean, I've used a cluster set as at the beginning, and as I as I got more advanced, I used the the third way, which is more for step loading, winning, meaning like you want to use about uh, about two third of of the rep count that you can do maximally. And then you build from there in many in many set cons consistent set and each week you want to add just the set and not worry about the repetition because you you, so, you you will be so great at doing uh, uh, like a solid like let's say you can do uh, five repetition for example so you work like maximally and after that you spent so you test that max on a good day and you know that because after you really reach a full max most likely your performance is gonna go lower and lower and lower. Again, that's where failure is not good and the pump is not good. Then on, on a different session, you wanna pick about two thirds of it, about 70% of it, 75%. And then the number, the range can vary depending on your level and uh, everybody's just different. You can have to play around with the number. But about two thirds is be good. Um, uh, you So you can do five. Pick, you start with three, you work with five set of three. And then on the uh, on the uh, what you call uh, uh, on no no not five set of three I mean uh, three uh, three uh, three sets my bad three sets of three you start with three set of three easy on the first week on the second week you add one more set it makes it four set of three and on the fourth week you add one more set it's going to be a uh, five set of three so that will be good for your major cycle on that week and then you deload and after the deload you come back the next week and then you jump up to four and then you start again with three sets of four and the week after i mean uh, the week after on the next major cycle you go to uh four sets of uh four and then on the third week on the next cycle uh, on, the, on the next cycle that we own, we go for um, uh, what you call uh, uh, five sets of four, and then you deload hard. It might be a week, sometime ten days. I, I figure that the, the sweet spot is usually ten days of deload when I'm really overreaching. But you may be one of those who recover fast, so you recover and just have a week of deload, and then on the third cycle. You, you start with a uh, three set of five and then you go to f uh, four set of five and then five set of five so it's it's pretty much during all this cycle of the step loading if you want to call it that way you just pick the same intensity and you build a volume a really big volume and that's how you're gonna consistently uh, make progress and solidify the the skill because all this time you've been doing uh, the, the work at an intensity that's not overwhelming but just good enough and you've been able to do so many repetitions that the skill itself get ingrained and the motor power and get ingrained and I think so far for me that was the best way for me to really uh, reinforce the skill but again no matter how much max rep you reach you won't be able to perform those max reps all the time at any given time you can perform at least half of your mass repetition that you ever be able to that, that that's your level at the time so that's just depending on how how much sleep you had uh, how much rest you had and how you program how you how much volume you had to your total I mean your total uh, workload of workout and that's that's just that the, the, the so that third way which is a step loading uh, idea protocol is the best way to really be uh, consistent with the with the movement and have the best quality of performance every give any given time because adding one more set on something that you already mastered is much easier than adding weight or adding one more repetition that that you don't really know how the the next one uh, the next rep will be you can break form and all these things and but it requires a lot of patience and uh you know and knowing that it's gonna work and 
I just tell you now it work it works you need patience and uh, yeah that's that so you pick like a like a, like a good intensity that is not too little and that's not too high and uh, you hammer it for for a little I mean uh, you start with a, a easy amount of set then you ramp up to the uh, the, the, the mild one and then you finish up with a, uh, with the highest um, amount of set that you want to pick to and you deload and then you come back again and you pick up with one more repetition that's gonna be your know, intensity of that you know that month for or, or six months I mean or six weeks or whatever your middle cycle is consistent of. so many ways to get to the point you just have to go through some principle of uh, training that we've known have worked and based on my experience this is the one that I'm just serving you right now and uh, that hundred percent works and you can always reach out for a coach if you stuck because I know a lot of people out there they are full of ego you know they they get stuck and because they think they can retro engineer people program they think they can come up with a way to go about it but it doesn't work that way if you stuck it just means you've uh, uh, depleted all your resources and uh, all your knowledge on how to go about things feel free to reach out to those who know what they're doing and uh you know get some uh, some advice or training from them so that's that man you got it uh you got the first way which is the um uh, uh using like a weighted vest and uh having like a, a typical wave loading progressive overload and get stronger because the stronger you get at those instant push-ups uh the more repetition you'll be able to do uh, without uh, the weighted vest the second way will be the cluster sets that's for those who just uh, getting started and want to consolidate the the movements and uh, you just uh, go for a set of uh, what you call them? A cluster set of threes you know and take a break in between a repetition and take a good break in between the sets and build up from there and the third one is the one that uh, that I suggest most people to to do is just uh, picking uh, intensity or repetition that you can uh, consistently perform, and that's for mostly for those who already um, have a good experience of it. So you can pick a consistent number and then build sets of that consistent number, uh, and the the number will be solid for a whole month and, and uh, until the next uh, mesocycle cycle. And then you bump up the number so that's that hope it was helpful on um, uh, yeah everything is and we always be the mechanical way I'm sorry that I didn't write specific number prescription I'm just too lazy for that and it's like almost a 20 minute video if you're really serious about uh, increasing your handstand push-up you would have reached this uh, uh, this level and uh, you did the right thing because that thing worked. Yeah. Peace, guys.